got a question from Indopleaser about the layers on a coil and the effect that that has. So I got a eight layer coil here. As you can see, it's much thicker than the coil we were using. It's you know four times as thick because this is a flat wire, but um, and this is a round wire copper. It's a little bit lower resistance and than the coil I was using before. So instead of using my subwoofer to power it, I'm going to use the amplifier so I can get around the same voltage to show the effect between a coil with less layers and a coil with more layers on the same voltage. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and play a 50 hertz tone. And the field actually feels the strongest right in this area. About three quarters of the way up the voice coil. making the magnet almost stand right up in there sometimes is I'm gonna go down to 45 hertz Put on the twenty five hertz. Turn it back out again. Spin. Let's go down to 20 hertz.
throws it out pretty easily at 20 hertz, 2 volts. Let's go down to 15 hertz. Like the lowest tone I have on this MP3 player is 14 hertz. or 55 hertz. So we're not getting very much movement out of it at 55 hertz. Even though we're at a higher voltage than we were at a lower hertz. Sixty hertz. Forty five hertz. As you can see, the voltage goes down. Forty hertz. Stood up in the middle there. So yeah, as you can tell, we are getting more movement out of a voice coil with more layers. Um, when it comes to a moving voice coil and a stationary voice coil, the big difference is, is weight. This is a very light voice coil. This one probably weighs eight times the amount of this voice coil. So, uh, But if it's stationary, it doesn't matter. Because you don't have to worry about the voice coil moving and being part of a moving mass. <laughs> 